Hello YouTube and welcome back to a new video. I'm back with a new showcase and analytics. Um, so basically my video journey dropped a new reveal that show us a lot about the new the game or the revamp that we'll be getting. So let's watch the video and then we can discuss it after it's finished. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, there is a lot of stuff that happened with the game. Um, to start with is the new uh, UI or the new starting. So the, the, the characters are down here and then on your left up here you have the name and the coins. And on your light you have your status. So you have your abilities, your skins, your health and your magic. And if you click on deploy, of course, you'll start playing. But... That's not the only interesting stuff because once he was going over other characters, we can see some of the changes that happened to the game. Uh, first of all, a new Jean Grey outfit, as you guys can see. It looks way different than the current one. And if you zoom in a little bit, you will see um, that Dark Phoenix, the skin, and Phoenix Force has gotten new morphs. They look absolutely different than we have them right now. And I'm like really, really excited to, you know, to see them in game, like really excited. And if you go a little bit further to Agatha, did y'all see something? Cause I did. Look at next to the Agatha's Halloween outfit. Do you see who that is? That's Agatha from WandaVision and her flashbacks. Back when she was, you know, the witches tried to kill her because she was using dark magic. Um, that's the exact outfit and she's going to be coins. Uh, she's from Salem, of course. It's Agatha Harkness Salem. And I think that the abilities are not going to be much different than the current Agatha's. Or maybe just one or two new abilities. So that's what I think so far. Let's move on to the next character. Here we have everything the same. Um, the Scarlet Witch and the 838 Wanda got their morph changed, changed. And also the Scarlet Witch also got her morph changed. And Wanda Endgame also got her morph changed. Um, so as you guys can see, only Wanda, um, Endgame Wanda and the Scarlet Witch and Mom Wanda and 838 Wanda got their morph changed in this um thingy so we can go and here oh so it's not gonna get a skin it's like the 2022 christmas skin i'm not sure it's gonna come back to sale but if you have it you'll be able to see it there so yeah let's continue as you guys can see this is um the thingy what is her name storm yeah she got a whole change outfit she looks absolutely stunning i'm not joking but she looks stunning i love her outfit and also the christmas uh edition also got changed and uh, the goddess storm also got a little bit of uh, changing so that's so far what we have uh, this is all the same the invisible woman and here where things got spicy because he showed us the abilities okay so let's get a little bit closer to the abilities and read them one by one okay her first ability is q which is an aura shield um it creates a shield that protects the caster from any incoming damage that's the her shield is an aura shield which i'm not sure if um is gonna allow her to move freely or just stand still while being protected of course you can break the shield with your abilities just like any other character um next it's x um unbreakinetic manifestation 
summons the shadow pillars that ragdolls and deals damage to nearby players. So this one attacks everyone around her and it summons a shadow pillars. Does it like, is it like shadow things around her that ragdolls everyone? I think so. Yeah, I think that's what we got in the reveal before. Next, the ability is Shadow Chains. Summons a shadow orb that grabs nearby players and deal constant damage while also absorbing health and energy. Wow. So there will be a shadow orb that like on the ground and everyone around her will be pushed around that shadow orb. Which will does them damage and also will absorb their health and their energy. Oh my goodness, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if it does a lot of damage or not, but that's what we got so far. Um, next we have a Shadow Bolt. Of course, Diamond Shadow Bolt that damage the target. Um, just like any other bolt. Can we get anything else? Okay. Grabs nearby players and deal constant damage. Dark Matter. I think this ability is just like the whole ability with any... Um, any witch, like the Scarlet Witch that holds her and then I think it's the same thing but instead of R, it's T if I'm not mistaken or no, maybe not. It's like, I feel like it's the same as Invisible Woman's uh, Christmas skin T. The T keybind that grabs them and then it starts doing them damage. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it, of course, Black Hole. This one we didn't see. This is an area spell. Uh, summons a black hole which grabs nearby players, didn't them damage, throw the affected players after the ability is done. So it's just like the the orb, if I'm not mistaken, and it grabs them from wherever they were near the ability and it does them damage. Uh, we already saw that. Summons a powerful dark blast that explodes wherever it touches. Um, this one, this gloomy shots, I think it's the same as one end game one does, um, the powerful bolt, the one that she like j does and it does a lot of damage. I think it's going to be the same one, it, like with the different FFX and stuff like that. We already saw that and generates a shadow shockwave. This is a shockwave just like, um, and like the Scarlet Witches, I think that pushes everyone and does them damage. And the last one we already spoke about. And she has 400 health and 450 magic. So I, I believe that she's going to be as strong as, as Mom Wanda. I'm not mistaken. But what we know is that she's a game pass. And those were her abilities. I can't wait to try them in game. And I can't wait to showcase to you guys them in game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I see you guys on the next video. Bye. Like, subscribe. Bitch.